What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. A short edition, five minutes or less. Stick to the end, stick around to the end, five minutes or less. <laughs> Today's episode is gonna be talking about one of the main red flags when you first meet a narcissist or toxic person. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. So yes, this is absolutely true. A lot of times, narcissists and toxic people will tell you that all their exes are crazy. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. It should absolutely make your red flag meter go up in your head. Make it go off. Just beeping like crazy. If somebody that you just meet say, all my exes are crazy. Ask yourself and them possibly this question. Why are they all crazy? Did you make them crazy? Were they crazy before you met them? Because either way, I think that's a red flag. If this person made all their exes crazy, it's a red flag. And also, if they keep picking crazy exes, it's also a red flag. Because it seems like they might be attracted to that type. If it's true, a lot of times they're just saying BS because painting their exes in a bad light allows them to be good people in your eyes. And it also makes you want to be better. Oh, I'm not going to be that crazy ex. I'm not, I'm not going to be crazy to them. I'm going to be good to them. And no, not all narcissistic people will say their exes are crazy. Some of them will praise their exes in an effort to get you to behave differently, to get you to work harder for them. So, all oh, my exes are crazy. Huge waving. Look, I'm sitting in my car right now. Get Look, I have these sitting in my car. A plethora of red flags because that's exactly what it is. It's somebody you just meet or somebody you're getting to know says, hey, look, all oh, my exes are crazy. I, I That's a red flag, y'all. Because like I said in the short video, ask yourself the question. Why are all their, this person's exes crazy? Did they make them crazy? Did they contribute to them going crazy? Or, 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 like I also said in the video, are you picking crazy people? Because then you have a wild, are you, are you picking people that are crazy? Are you picking people that are toxic as hell? Do you like toxic relationships? Do you like toxic people? You see right there, either way, it's a red flag. Cause, because yeah, the, the exes could absolute, absolutely be crazy but you have to ask yourself and you can ask this person until you're just not getting to know them i feel like that's a boundary right there that's something that you know sometimes you have to ask deep penetrating questions hey so all your exes are crazy then so did, did you make them crazy why 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 would you say that like what what did they all have in common that made them crazy you are you are you the the, the common denominator right here ask more questions y'all you have to because somebody telling you that all their exes are crazy is a red flag either way it goes it just is open your mouth open your mind and open your mouth because if you don't if you ignore that red flag in the beginning you're going to be one of the crazy exes because if they're talking about all their exes being crazy right now if and when you become an ex guess what you're going to be a crazy ex to the next person to the new supply you're going to be one of the crazy exes. You just, just, just you add your, uh, th put your, leave your card on the table on your way out because you're now the crazy ex. But anyways, y'all, I told y'all keep this, keep this short, sweet, and to the point. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.